Hi guys, it's your tech guy at uh, OIS DBN and today I want to showcase you our Android unit. Uh, basically this is our flagship model. It is uh, Android 8 with uh, 4 gig RAM, 32 gig um, onboard storage space and it is uh, octa-core. Um, first I'm going to take you guys to the home screen. Um, you on your left, of course, you can see you've got the time, you've got the day, and you've got the date in that order. In the center, you've got your FM radio function. On your right hand, you've got your music um, function. Below that is Bluetooth. In the center, you've got your DVR. However, this is sold separately. Um, basically, it allows you to connect more cameras uh, in the unit and you can use this function to record your journey as you're going along and your bottom right hand corner is your video function on your extreme left you've got your google maps in the center is your equalizer in the bottom is your settings so let's just quickly go through that that's basically your google maps the center of the unit is your equalizer um, another cool uh, setting about this equalizer is it has a loudness function which basically doubles your sound uh, capability. The best um, amplifier theme is the rock that I found so far. And with this being an Android unit, the first thing you want to do as soon as you get the unit is of course um, set it up in terms of your data. So you can do one of two options, you can um, get a portable router or you can connect your phone as a hotspot. The speed of the unit is going to determine how good the portable router is or how good your network is. So if you got a good network such as MTN or Vodacom, the unit is going to fly through. So let's just quickly go through your settings. It's uh, similar to how your Android um, phone unit is um, let's another cool function I just want to show you guys is your is your car, car setting you go extra settings and basically this allows you to um, set your reverse camera you got reversing X mirror reversing volume basically um, this will allow you to adjust the volume as you're reversing so if you're getting uh, closer to the object then of course it'll beep louder okay so let me just go back here if I go driver settings um, this basically shows you what safety functions uh, the car has uh, allowed to watch video while driving you can switch that off so the unit wouldn't play any videos when you're driving uh, another cool function that I found on this uh, unit is the element unit which is basically the light of the unit now this will only work once you switch the lights on of course, obviously um, if you just click the element function um, it allows you to pick whatever element uh, color you want. Now currently it's set on rainbow. However, um, if you prefer this, it's good. But uh, I prefer to just basically go with uh, the same color as what the car is. So it'll look as if everything's OEM. Let's go back to your main screen. Uh, you got your Bluetooth function in more depth. You got your file browser here. Uh, the, as mentioned earlier, it comes with 32 gig onboard storage. Below that is the SD card as well, and then of course you can just uh, pick through whatever files you have selected on your SD card. Then you've got your radio. Uh, currently there is 5FM playing, you just SAFM, quickly just switch on the 5FM, you just switch it in the touch of a button, it's that easy. You've got your music function here. Basically this will show you all of the music on your card. Um, the, these equalizers can be adjusted. 
by just touching that button on the top. This will show you the folder name as well as your artist name, but it does look better with the equalizer on. Going back to the home screen, you, you go, okay, we just showcase the amplifier. This is a real key stereo uh, app. Basically, if you got keys on your steering, this app will allow you to link the steering buttons to the unit. Next, I have a calculator up. This is a scientific calculator, yes, on this unit. I doubt you're ever going to use this, but it's a good uh, app to have. Then you got your gallery on your top left. You can uh, whatever pictures you have can be also used as a display. You got your app installer option. You got your clock. It does play DVDs, however, nobody even uses DVDs anymore. But it is nice to have. You got your calendar function here. If you log in with your Gmail account, um, it'll link all of your appointments to this calendar. So, for example, on a Monday morning, if you in your car. You forgot about appointment, the update will be in the unit. That'll be extremely cool. You got Google Chrome and then you got Easy Connect. Easy Connect is basically an interaction with your phone and a car. You, there's three options to this. You got Android to USB, Android to Wi-Fi, iPhone to Wi-Fi. Then you've got your Gmail account. You can type your emails from the unit. You got Google Maps, if you have YouTube, let's just open it up. So you just select whatever video you want to watch. We have here, yeah, we got while and out. Adjust the volume. And then it will play as such. Uh, then you got your Play Store. You can also download more apps. Um, but however, you want to go and get yourself a memory card. Like I did mention, the unit only has a 32 gig onboard memory. So that memory is going to get full if you keep on downloading apps. So it's good that the unit does have a function for uh, a memory card. Okay, the next thing we have here is Apple Music. It basically works as how your phone would work. Uh, best of the week. Coming down, you got top charts, music videos. So this is absolutely cool. Then you've got your ways to get you updated with your traffic reports. Um, more data basically shows you information um, about the car, but this is also sold separately. And then another, yeah, lastly, I want to show you guys the reverse camera on the car. So this can be adjusted as per the settings I showed you guys earlier.